Hi, Tom with Heritage Electrical here, and in this video, um, I want to talk you through a little bit of fault finding that we've had to do during the process of changing um, the consumer unit. So we've upgraded the board to fully RCBO board. Um, so everything apart from the garage, um, which is, has its own consumer unit, which is RCD protected. Every other circuit has got RCD protection. Um, and so what we found after we changed the board is the upstairs socket circuit. We've run a few tests and we found that there is a dead short between uh, neutral and earth. Uh, and so let's go and have a look upstairs to see how we have tried to identify and resolve the problem. All right, so the first thing that we did uh, is we tried to separate out the two legs of the ring circuit. So we took an educated guess as to roughly the halfway point of the ring. And you can see here that we have separated out. So you see one leg comes up from below um, and the other leg goes up to the second floor. So we've essentially chopped the ring in half and we ran the same test, the insulation resistance tests on each half of the, uh, of the ring. Uh, and one half then tested fine, the other half uh, still had the issue. So we know that half the sockets, half the uh, ring is fine. Um, and we've sort of narrowed down the number of sockets which we then need to inspect to see if we can find the fault on. So there's, there are 20 ish sockets on this circuit, so it's quite a, quite a busy circuit. Uh, and so rather than taking all 20 off from the outset, We've now narrowed it down, we only need to take 10 off to inspect. Now in the process of just removing some of these socket fronts, you can see that some of, uh, yeah, some of these are particularly busy. Um, and so we've got a single socket here, um, which has got three cables in. We've got ring in, ring out, and then we've got spur off to this FCU, uh, which is providing power for this socket and a more recent addition of some uh, underfloor heating in a bathroom. So in an ideal world, um, a separate circuit probably should have been run in uh, for this new underfloor heating installation rather than just spurring off an existing uh, circuit. There's actually another bathroom with another underfloor heating circuit uh, which has been added as a spur onto this ring so it's quite a heavily loaded circuit. So this is the other relatively new addition um, as a spur onto this existing ring final circuit, which is doing uh, some spotlights. Uh, we've got some lights around the sink and we've got some underfloor heating as well. So the board that we've replaced was just a, an older MCB board. I think it's a 3871, BF7, uh, 3871, which is an old MCB standard. This uh, addition was done in the interim and you can see it is a fused connection unit that has an RCD built into it. So whoever's put the bathroom in has covered their work uh, using an RCD but ideally um, had he done some tests on the circuit that he was adding to he would have found this issue uh, that we found. Um, but also I don't think the customer received any uh, installation paperwork for this um, because it's work that's carried out in the bathroom I believe it's notifiable work um, so at the very least it's an addition to an existing circuit so it should have received a minor work certificate for the work that's been done but also I think um, should have had a part piece certificate from the council as well What we found when we were removing these sockets as well, um, the customers actually exchanged these sockets, I think, relatively recently, um, metal finish in, in place of the plastic ones that were there before. What we found when we are taking a few of these plates off is that um, the screw terminals aren't as tight as they could be and the conductors have just fallen out or um, you know, been quite easy to pull out. Um, so yeah, that, that can also lead to either dodgy readings uh, from our end when we're doing our tests or tripping, arcing, you know, if the screw terminals aren't tight enough down or in the case of the earth connection, you know, if they were to pop out 
uh, then that uh, socket plate wouldn't have a connection to earth. It's obviously a metal socket, it's conductive, and so that could lead to shock. So we eventually found the culprit behind a single socket. If you look carefully at the photo, you can see that the basic insulation, the black insulation on the neutral conductor has been scraped off because the cable was crammed into this small back box and was in contact with the back box itself. Now, when you screw the plate back, um, the back box is earthed, connected to earth. And so if that neutral conductor is also touching the back box, then that's where the short has happened. The neutral conductor is touching earth. Now, obviously, there's, when it's been an MCB in the board, there's obviously not been enough current flowing to trip that MCB. As soon as you install an RCD component, they are extremely sensitive to any current flowing to earth. Uh, and so that's that would pick up on that and trip instantaneously. You just wouldn't be able to energize the circuit. So as we mentioned before, the customer replaced these uh, socket fronts from PVC to these metal socket fronts. Um, now this is a problem for a couple of reasons. One, because they've only had MCB protection in the consumer unit previously, that means that if there is a fault to the metal socket, um, the fault current's gonna be higher um, than with the RCD units in there. So it presents a higher risk. And then if you combine that with the fact that the screw terminals weren't, weren't as tight as they should be, you know, clamping down onto the conductors. Uh, and as we've just seen in the process of changing the socket fronts, that's uh, introduced a fault into the, into the wiring. The moral of the story is that even if it's just a simple changing of accessories, socket fronts, light switches, uh, light fittings, etc., you are better off getting a qualified electrician in to do a proper job and then give you the correct paperwork rather than attempting to do it yourself. Because, you know, what, what might seem a relatively simple job does have inherent risks and, and can lead to uh, dangerous situations within your home as well.